What's up guys? So on today's video, we're going to be doing uh, a repair on a TTR90 gas tank. So we picked up this bike a couple years ago now. Haven't honestly haven't done like anything with it. Just pulled it out of the barn, uh, trying to get it running again. So I got a video going on that as well. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave uh, the link to the video in the description. So definitely check that one out. So the, the story on this thing is uh, it was parked by the previous guy just because the gas tank leaked. He tried to repair it. Didn't work. Uh, here it is here. I've messed with it a little bit. You guys will see in the video. But uh, I don't know. The, the tanks are pretty expensive. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, try myself to fix it. Uh, see if we can... I don't know. Get it, get it going. See if we can make it last a little bit, because these uh, these gas tanks aren't cheap. So this is my take on it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll uh, keep you guys updated uh, in the long term, uh, in the long term to to see how everything holds up on it. I said it's it's pretty bad shape. It's got one, two, three, four, five cracks in it. They weren't all the way through, they are just like hairline cracks, but uh, they are leaking nonetheless. So yeah, enjoy the video guys. There was an old repair on here that uh, someone tried to do. I wire wheeled it off. And uh, you know what I did? I just took, the, took a Sharpie and marked a crack like this. Wherever it's cracked, I marked it. This uh, plastic weld, and we're going to fill in this deep gouge with it and uh, let it cure and see how it goes. So, we have another one here, so we'll try that. Give you guys a little rundown. Nice gouge. Let's see how it goes, guys. You know what? It's either this. We try to repair it. Or we buy a new tank and they're crazy expensive. So it doesn't hurt to try. Gonna tr so if you get a nice soldering iron with a nice pointy tip on it like this, and you can you can get pretty detailed with it. Melts pretty fast. We got cracks on either side. It's mostly where where uh, the fairings were attached. I guess maybe it puts pressure on it. But you just slowly, slowly go. It leaves a nice groove. Hopefully, you guys are getting this good. You can see it well. Let me go a little bit further than where the crack starts. So it doesn't continue the crack. Honestly, it seems to work pretty well. See that? Once that's done, take a razor blade and just cut off the axis. Me, just cut off the excess make it smooth okay. 
Okay, guys, I put on a pair of gloves because uh, I don't want to get this stuff over my hand. So in the instructions, it says to scratch up the surface of what you're bonding to. So because I created a smooth surface, when we melt the plastic, I'm just going to rough it up just a little bit with the uh, little wire brush. I have a small little brush here. I don't have to go too crazy. Scratch it up a little bit on inside just so it bonds. Gives it something to stick to, right? Rather than a smooth surface. Get it? Okay. Now this stuff here says it's, it's a two-part. So you, you're gonna squirt. Oh, and you mix together, okay? And you apparently you have five minutes to work with it. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is put it on in the gouge. Make sure it's a nice coat. Okay. Make sure you fill it up good. Fill the whole thing up. Okay, I'll fill all of them, then we'll wipe off the excess material after. It's like I said, we want, to, we want it to look half decent, right? Really, if you wanted to, you could paint the tank after. Maybe I'll do that, actually. Maybe I'll paint it black. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So all the holes are filled. I'll go over to the other side. I'm just going to take my finger and just wipe the material just outside of my, the groove. Wipe it on a rag. the material and go back after with this guy and just smoothen it out. I'm just trying to get a little bit more of the material off. See that looks slightly better, right? So we got the tank prepped. I ended up putting two coats of that plastic weld on it. Cleaned it up. It's all washed out, all the mud's gone, all the grease is off of it. Like I said, we put two coats on the cracks. Just felt like it sealed it up a little bit better. Everything's holding tight. So uh, right now the plan is to paint it so I'm gonna I stripped off all the bolts off of it uh, the pet cock uh, there's a couple a little bit of mounting hardware but what I did was uh, the bolts actually I put back in to the threads just so we don't get over spraying the threads so uh, yeah we'll just tape it up like I said it's all cleaned ready to go and, uh, we'll throw a coat of paint on it hopefully it'll just hide some of the uh, the imperfections from the tank. Like I said, it's, uh, uh, the tank wasn't in the best shape to begin with. Alright, there's the bike put back together. 
Like I said, it doesn't look horrible. It doesn't look the best. It doesn't look horrible either. There's the tank. You got lucky. With the, the side plastics covered most of the blemishes up. Except for here a little bit. On the other side, I think it pretty much covered them all. Let's see. Now you see it here, just, just a tiny bit in there. But, like I said, the black hides it. The only way you're going to tell is you're looking real close at it. And it doesn't look horrible with a black tank. But... Turned out good, guys. Like I said, I'll give you a... I'll give you a long-term update, maybe after a couple months or, you know, it's a spring now, so maybe after the, the summer use, I'll let you know how, uh, how it holds up. Hopefully it doesn't leak any more gas. And uh, like I said, if you, if you find this video helpful, you know, please like and uh, subscribe. And uh, I have another video on this bike, actually, because it's been sitting for a long time. Uh, clean the carburetor, just a fun video, just riding it around. So if you want, I'll... Uh, Link uh, the video in the description down below. You can check that one out. No, that's it, guys. Hopefully, hopefully this helped you. And uh, you know, good luck on your repairs. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.